Rotation in games could be very hard since it involves the quaternions numbers. But we do not need to know quaternions to make operations. There are four types of rotations we can operate in Unity. Rotate an object around self, rotate an object around a point or a node object, and rotate in a trajectory and rotate towards. In this video, I will show you the two first movements. Let's see some cases and examples. This video is highly based on the article from John French. This article covers 9% about all the rotation cases, just missing some very special functions to specific rotation cases. I highly, I highly recommend you to read these articles, link in the description. What I have here is a rotate around self script that has two variables, uh, speed and angle. All the functions I will use here will be inside the update function. I'm putting this first line here just to say, just to show you the wrong way to try to rotate some object. When we make some translations, we make transform.translation plus equals new vector, that is a direction, times time delta time, times speed. But in this case, it not works because transform.rotation is a quaternion. And here we have a vector 3, and vector 3 is different from quaternion. For quaternion has four uh, entries, an x, y, z, and w. And the vector has just three entries, uh, x, y, and z. So this is wrong. So as transform.rotation is a quaternion, we, can, we need to use quaternions to make it to rotate. So I'm using here quaternion.euler. This is a method. This method receives a vector 3 as an argument. And I can put time.delta time here multiplied by, by speed. And as you can see, what, uh, what quaternion.euler does in this case because there are other cases, because Cartanion can have some different uh, operations, but we will see these in the future. But in this case, when, you, we, when we pass a vector 3 inside the Cartanion.Euler, it returns a Cartanion for us. And this Cartanion is exactly the transform.rotation. So let's uh, print the, make a debug.log here with the transform.rotation. Here I have uh, 1 as entry, but I will put 30. What means putting 30 inside a quaternion.euler? That means that uh, we will rotate this object 3rd degrees in the y-axis. So the number I pass here will be the, the Euler angles that we use to rotate this object. In this case, as I, I'm passing 30 in the i x in the y axis, so it will rotate around the i the y axis 30 degrees. But if I pass any other vector here, in each one of the directions, it, uh, the object will rotate too. Let's see it in action. At first, we have the R quaternion here in the debug in the console window. All the four entries is 0, 0, 0, 1. 1 is by default. So let's unpause the game now. As you can see, the behavior we expect doesn't happen because the, the cube starts to freaking out. But this is because we are trying to use the time dot delta time to make the rotation continuously. But when we remove that, but take a look here in the axis rotation entry and it will be instantaneously moved 30 degrees when the, the game plays. And the values is here, 2, 0, 0, and 0 0.3, 0 in 1, as we saw before. The y entry in the quaternion changed to so just to 0 0.3 and we cannot have the rotation continuously even using time.data time. So this is the wrong option too, 
This is just used to rotate an object by some degrees. It can be useful in some cases, you know. As I comment here, quaternion.euler transforms a vector 3 in a vector. So I will add that comment here. So in the future you can refer to this and understand that quaternion.euler is transforming this vector 3 in a in an angle and passing this angle to quaternion.rotation. I need to explain something to you. We can visualize the uh, uh, the object angle in two ways. The first way is using the degrees that we are used to in the high school. But the other way is using quaternion. But the Euler, Euler angles has a problem some gamble problem. The gamble lock problem. I will link the to the, in the description of this video this gimbal lock in the Wikipedia so you can see and understand this principle in action here. When we have two axes in parallel we cannot rotate the, the, the plane here in some degrees, you know, so this is the problem. And quaternions don't have this problem and can e and fix this problem. So it's because of that problem that we can that we now use quaternions in all the games. We can make the rotations using the, the quaternions and we can make the rotations using the Euler angles. And to use the Euler angles, it almost in 99% nine, nine, nine of the cases, we will not use, need to use the rotation angle. So I show you the right way here using the Euler angles to rotate an object continuously. And we use the transform dot Euler angles. So it's completely different uh, what we can imagine. We do not use the rotation as we did with the transform uh, translation. So magically it appears here as angle, uh, Euler angles. This is a clear specific specification about the uh, uh, that Yun gives us to that we are making a rotation in Euler angles, you know. Apart that of that difference, the uh, the rest is equal. So we need to use the transform dot Euler angles here plus equals a new vector and times dot time dot delta time times speed. And now when press when we use this script and press play, our objects start to rotate around itself. But the Unity has created a function for us to rotate the object more easily, as we did in the trans in the translations using the transform dot translate uh, method. He, uh, the video will be in the card or, or in the in, and in the description of the video. So we can these two formulas is the same, but here is a method that Unity provides for to us. Uh, that is called rotate. So we need just to, to do transform dot rotation, pass a vector and multiply it by time dot the time and speed as we did before without needing to this crazy mathematician mathematics here. So let's see it in action. And the same effect is happening again using the, ro the transform that ro rotate. This, uh, this method rotate, uh, transform.rotate, has uh, some additional parameters. In this case, I'm using the angle here to, say, to tell him uh, the, parameter, the angle I wanted to rotate. Seems to, to be the same function here as before, but let's see what happens. As you can see, it's a little different the behavior because I'm passing the parameter in the second entry. So this has a strange behavior here, it's more fast. It gets a little better because we are using time now to rotate the object and it is a little more smooth. Okay, this is all I have today for the rotate around self. Now we will see rotate around a fixed point. In this case, I'm mean try to <laughs> make a, a little model here of the Earth and the Sun in the in the earth we rotate around the sun and in the in the earth in the earth we have a little white cube so it can uh, we can see what is happening behind the scenes here here i have a rotate around a point i script it's a mono behavior that has the speed and angle and i use the transform and call it the sun because i i need to rotate around the sun and I'm using all the functions I'm using here is inside the update method. So the first thing we are to do, we are doing, is using the 
the function called rotate around. <laughs> this is a great help by Unity. Let's see what this, this function does. This function uh, needs a point that we will rotate around. In this case, I'm using the sun position. It needs a, a direction of the rotation. In this case, I'm using the vector up. In, the ca in this case, is the y-axis. And I'm uh, speeding it with using the time dot delta time times the speed to make it rotate in some velocity. And as you can see, the, the Earth is rotating around the, the Sun. But look here, the white, the white cube. The white cube is always facing the, the Sun, okay? So this is an effect when the Sun is, 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 is stands still. But observe what happens when try to, we try to, ro to translate the Sun, the Earth, tracks the sun's position and continues translating around it. Okay, this is the right behavior we want. But look, now, because we translate the sun, the white cube is just facing the, this direction here because we change the, the position of the sun. But this direction, you never change it to. You change it just when we translate the sun again. So we need to be careful when using this method because uh, the object will start to rotate and facing the object in weird, uh, if the object stands still, it will be a perfect uh, for, uh, towards looking, but when you move the object, the, the, move, the toward movement changes too and we not, you cannot guarantee that the object will face the other as we want and this is complicated because if we do not want this object to face the, the other object this is a little problem that we need to fix using quaternions so all this talk about quaternions is just to, to solve this problem too inside unity besides the gamble lock problem of course that quaternions is solved the, this is another problem when we do not want one object to rotate around the other and face and be facing it because the, the, the earth can rotate around self you know so I put a rotate around self here to make the earth rotate around self when it's rotate around the sun and now the, the object is not facing the other objects is rotating around itself okay so as we can see we can have the two movements uh, happening at the same time using the two different scripts but now let's fix the first the, the problem when we want the the first objects rotate around the sun but not facing towards the object just as just for fun i make i'm using the rotate around here but instead of uh, passing the sun as a position point here around we want to pass we are putting the transform that position of the same object so in this case the transform around is the same as the transform rotate so let's see it in this case we just have the object rotate around itself but using another function in this case around rotate around so it's good to know that we can make this behavior too as we did before using a uh, transform dot rotation uh, to rotate the object by 30 degrees in the y axis in the other around self script here we are using the quaternion so i instead of use uh, using the transform dot rotation I, i'm creating my own quaternion called orbit this is empty for now just here in this line i mean transforming the this vector 3 at in, in a quaternion value so I'm assigning it in the orbit here I'm making the debug log here and then I'm applying the transform the transform dot rotation equals to orbit this is exactly the same as we did in this line transform dot rotation quaternion dot Euler new vector and passing 30 in the y axis just to see the result, as you can see, the object translate third degrees 
This is just for us to understand how quaternions works, you know, making this vector becomes a angle in a quaternion value here. In this case, I will try to rotate the object using the quaternion.euler continuously because before we are using the Euler, Euler angles to rotate, but now we are using quaternion using the method Euler here that transform that vector here that we are used to use and multiplying this by time dot dot time and speed and in the in the final result and the, all this we multiply with the transform dot rotation and then pass this this value to the this orbit value to the to inside the transform dot rotate itself Observe that this is equal to transform.rotation, but more cumbersome, using quaternions, of course. So now we, we can rotate around itself using quaternions. It's a little more fast than the first method using Euler. Of course, we are coming to a point here when we can use this function where we did before to rotate around some point, you know. In this case, we will try to do uh, it rotating around the sun and avoid this toward movement that we have before. So in this case, I, I am recreating the vector three orbit and I'm moving it forward because I need to use it here and it cannot be just uh, created and not assigned to anything. So I create it, assign it to, uh, to a vector forward, multiply by four, so it will be a little forward from the sun, you know, it will not be pointed inside the sun. In this case, when we are using the quartan dot oiling to make the, the rotation, we need to understand that we can we can imagine the position in this of the object in space as a vector. Of course, I need to use the angle. So I use my angle here and assign it to the speed and multiplied by time dot the time. And I will put some rest restriction here because I don't want the angle to increase forever because it can make some problems in the future when we run the game. So I just make this mathematic here to lock the, the angle between minus 360 and 360. And in the end, I just moving the this the I'm just moving the object around the sun using the orbit orbit uh, object. Look the Earth, it will jump a little bit forward because of the orbit transform dot forward multiplied by four as I that I used before. It gives a little jump here forward because we are using that technique, and now in, we have the object rotating around the sun but it always but it's not looking towards the object it keeps the initial rotation of the object this could be uh, used in some cases so you know when you want to use it so the conclusion here is that we can use the Euler's angles to rotate an object and we can use the quaternion too I think that when we need just these two movements, rotate around self and rotate around some point, the best function to use is the transform dot rotate around because we can use it in all the cases, you know. But what happens if we want this Earth to rotate in a different angle? As you can see, the Earth is rotating in this blue line. But if we want the, the, the Earth to rotate in this angle, making this trajectory, what kind of function we need to use to, to make it happen? This is the topic for the next video. So in the, last in the second video, I will expand a little more in these two left cases, rotate an object in a trajectory and rotate towards link to this project is, is in the description. If you could let a like in, in the video and a subscription on the channel, it will help a lot other people to find this video. See you in the next one. Cheers.